Tens thousands people took to streets in major Italian cities on Saturday to mark the International Day for Elimination Violence Against Women as an Italian man suspected killing his ex-girlfriend was extradited from Germany. The of 22-year-old university student Julia Cicchettin, allegedly by her ex-boyfriend, sparked outrage in Italy, where on average a woman is killed every three days. The suspect, 21-year-old Filippo Toretta, landed at Venice Airport in the morning on Saturday. He was immediately transferred to prison in the northern city of Verona to face questions in the investigation into Cicchettin's death. According Italian media reports, council vote to REAUTHORIZATE the violence against women ACT the number of young girls experienced. Sexual violence is dramatic. Authorities call it a crisis. Chiquetin disappeared after meeting Toretta for hamburger at a shopping mall near Venice. Few days before he was to receive his biomedical engineering degree, the case shook Italy. His body was found covered with black plastic bags in a ditch near a lake in the foothills of the Alps on November 18. Toretta was arrested in Germany the next day. Chiquetin sparked an unprecedented wave of pain and anger in Italy, where many women say patriarchal attitudes are still entrenched. Data from the Italian Ministry of Internal Affairs shows that 106 women have been killed in Italy. So far this year, 55 of them are alleged to be partners or ex-partners. Italy's Rai State Television reported that since Chiquetin's body was found, Calls to national helpline for women who fear for their safety in the hands of men have increased from about 200 to 400 a day, including from young women's parents. Rome is occupied. We are 500,000 people, said activists from anti-violence feminist association Non Una di Meno, which organized the rally in capital. Chiquetin and his striking story were commemorated in many of the demonstrations across Italy. Male violence is something that affects me personally and all of us at all ages, said Aurora Arlio, a 24-year-old student who went to the demonstration from Lattispoli, a town close to Rome. We also united on behalf of Julia because her story touched us and I hope it changes things. Monica Gilardi 46. Said her generation was probably the generation that suffered more from silence than others despite having experienced women's struggles and liberation for years. I have reached a different awareness now. I hope I can share it with my sisters. She said. Thousands of men of all ages also responded to Saturday's call to join initiatives against gender violence. I think it is important to be here today said 19-year-old Leonardo Sanna, who attended the Rome demonstration with his female friends. This is not my first time. But I believe Julia's death has partly changed the perception of this problem among young people. And I hope it will not be short-lived. Earlier this week, the Italian parliament approved new